Hello, this is Ratio and Proportion lesson 2.1. In this, I will discuss questions on proportion. Now, the mean proportion of the two numbers is 1. One of the number is 3 minus root 8. I am taking one of the number as 3 minus root 8. Other, another, let's another number is equals to x. Their mean proportion is 1. So, mean proportion always lies between the given two numbers. Now, these three numbers will be in continued proportion. And we know that whenever the three numbers are in continued proportion, first by second is equal to second by third. Cross multiply you will get x into 3 minus root 8 is equal to 1. Now what will be the value of x? x would be 1 upon 3 minus root 8. Now how to solve this? You have to rationalize this number. Rationalize means making the denominator rational number. So I will multiply and divide by 3 plus root 8 what I will get this is equal to 3 plus root 8 this is a plus b into a minus b this is a minus b into a plus b we know that a minus b into a plus b is always equal to a square minus b square so this will become 3 square 9 minus root 8 square 8 9 minus 8 1 so finally I am left left with x is equal to 3 plus root 8 so that was my first number number 1 my second number was x and I know the value of x now this is equal to 3 plus root 8 I know the value of x now this is 3 plus root 8 this is the value of x now what about the question find the sum of the numbers so sum of the numbers n1 plus n2 would be how much can I say this is 3 minus root 8 plus 3 plus root 8 root 8 and root 8 got cancelled out the sum of the numbers is 6 so our answer is none of these. None of these is our answer. Second question is the mean proportional between two numbers is 4 and the third proportion of the same two numbers is 32. Find the larger of the two numbers. Now what you have to do, you have to first pause the video, try to solve yourself. Then only you will learn the maximum. Now the two numbers we don't know, let's say two numbers are A and B. Their mean proportional is 4. So can I say that mean proportion always lies between the given two numbers. So A4 and B, they will be in continued proportion. So can I say that A by 4 will always be equal to 4 by B as per the definition of continued proportion. So can I say A into B would be how much this will be equal to 16. Second part of the statement says that the third proportion of the same two number, same two numbers are A and B, third proportion is 32. So we write the third proportion after the two numbers. Now these three numbers will be also be in continued proportion. So can I say that a by b will be equals to b by 32. So can I say that b square would be how much? This will be equal to 32 into a. Now put the value of a. a value is 16 by b. So put the value of a there. So b square is equal to 32. a is 16 by b. This is 32, this is 16 by B. So I am getting B cube is equal to 32 into 16. This is 2 power 5, this is 2 power 4. Can I say B cube is equal to 2 power 9, this is 2 cube power 3. This is equal to 8 power 3. So B cube is equal to 8 cube. Can I say that my B would be how much? B would be 8. So I got the one of the number as 8. Now we need to find the larger of the two numbers. So larger of the two number was B and its value is 8. So our answer is 8. Question 3 is P upon Q plus R minus P, Q upon P plus R minus Q equals to R upon P plus Q minus R. You need to find the this all three are equals to which value. Either they are equals to 1 or 0 or minus 1 by 2 or both options are possible 1 and minus 2. Now first you should solve this question and then look at the way I have solved. Now we, I told you a basic concept that a, if a by b is equals to c by d equals to e by f this is always equals to a plus c plus e divided by b plus d plus f but the condition was that this b plus d plus f should not be equals to 0. Now can I say that same logic can I apply in this concept add numerators I will get P plus Q plus R add all the denominator I will again get P plus Q plus R but the condition must be that 
p plus q plus r must not equals to zero then only i can write like this the final denominator should not be equals to zero as in this case the b plus d plus f should not be equals to zero then only then only i can write this as a plus c plus c divided by b plus d plus f otherwise i can't write so same way i can add the numerator as well as all the denominator but condition that condition must be that p plus q plus r should not be equals to zero and this value will be equals to one so the answer will be equals to one assuming that p plus q plus r is not equal to zero so if we assume that p plus q plus r is not equal to zero our answer would be equals to one this all these three ratio will be equals to one but do we know that p plus q plus r is not equal to zero it may be equal to zero so the second condition can come if p plus q plus r equal to zero then what will happen then we can't combine then what will happen we have to solve in a different manner so can i say that our question was that i was assuming that p plus q plus r equal to zero there is only two possibilities either p plus q plus r is equal to zero or not equal to zero if not equal to zero you can combine the ratios and answer will be one if equal to zero then what will happen then you can't combine so what will it become this q plus r minus p this q upon p plus r minus q this r upon p plus q minus r now now you can't combine like this p plus q plus r now you have to put the values you know that p plus q plus r equals to zero let's assume that this is equals to k so p plus q plus r equals to zero can i say that what be the value of p plus q can i say that p plus q will be equals to minus r i'm writing a different text p plus q will be equals to minus r q plus r will be equals to minus p and p plus r would be equals to minus q if p plus q plus r equals to zero then this will be happen now can i write like this now put the values of given things this is p q plus r what is q plus r if p plus q plus r is zero q plus r is equals to minus p so minus p minus p this will minus 2p q upon p plus r will be equals to minus q this will become minus 2q r p plus q will be minus r this will become minus 2r this is equals to k and that we, that is what we need to calculate so can i say what will the value of k p and p will get cancelled out q and q will get cancelled out r and r will get cancelled out can i say that my answer this will be equals to minus half k will be equals to minus half so can i say that either these three ratios are equals to minus 1 by 2 or they are equals to 1 depending upon whether p plus q plus r is equals to 0 or not and that was a very important question in general if this to this question comes in exam most of the students 99% will give this answer as 1 but answer will be 1 given that p plus q plus r must not be equals to 0 but we don't know so we have to assume both the cases in one case we will assume that p plus q plus r is not equals to zero in another case i will assume that p plus q plus r equals to zero now question 4 is p by q equals to r by s equals to t by u this is given to you as 4 by 9 very important p q r s t and u are positive integers then we need to calculate the ratio of 9p plus 9t plus 9r divided by 5u plus 5s plus 5q now how to solve this question now we need 9p 9t and 9r in the numerator so i will multiply this each of the ratio by 9 9 into 4 no difference it will make now in the denominator i need 5 so i will multiply the i will de denominator i will multiply by 5 no difference it will make because i am multiplying in each of the ratio now can i say this will become 9 and 9 got cancel out this will become 4 by 5 now but we need the answer in summation sum now we know that if a by d the basic concept if a by b 
equals to c by d equals to e by f we can combine this is equals to a plus c plus e b plus d plus f but there must be condition that b plus d plus f should not be equals to zero so we can do like this in this case our case can i say this will be equals to this entire thing these are three ratio this will be equals to 9p plus 9r plus 9t divided by 5q plus 5s plus 5u we can write like this but condition that 5q plus 5s plus 5u must not be equals to 0 are they equals to 0 no because given that all are positive integers so we know that 5q 5s and 5u not equals to 0 so we can write like this and its value will also be equals to this 4 by 5 so our answer should be our answer is 4 by 5 because in numerator we have 9p 9r 90 you can check that denominator is 5q 5s 5u you can add 5u 5s and 5q is same as 5q 5s and 5u so our answer is 4 by 5 y plus 3a divided by y minus 3a plus y plus 3b upon y minus 3b we need to find that value given that y is equal to 6ab upon a plus b so i'm writing the question now what you have to do you have to first solve this question yourself then look at the way i have solved if you solve by yourself then only you will realize how it is important to learn different ways of solving now i am solving this question if you straight away put the values of y you will get a very complicated equations and it will be very difficult to solve now how to solve we have to apply the basic concept i discussed if a by b is equals to c by d i know that if a by b is equal to c by d a plus b upon a minus b will always be equal to c plus d upon c minus d this is called as component wide and dividend i discussed in the basic concepts of proportion now we have to apply this can i say that my y is equals to 6ab upon a plus b i have to rearrange this can i say the y upon 3a will be equals to 2b upon a plus b i can take 3 in the denominator again if you will cross multiply you will get 6ab there is no difference these two things are same just a rearrangement now why i have taken 3a in the denominator because you can apply component and dividend and you will get y plus 3a so can i say that this i will get apply component and dividend i will get y plus 3a divided by y minus 3a this will be equal to 2b plus a plus b divided by 2b minus a plus b this will be equal to 3b plus a divided by b minus a so first fraction i got as 3b plus a upon b minus a same way i can solve the second fraction y by 3b will be equal to 2a upon a plus b apply component and dividend you will get y plus 3b upon y minus 3b that is what we required this will equal 2a plus a plus b divided by 2a minus a plus b solving this you will get 3a plus b divided by a minus b now put the values of y plus 3a upon y minus 3a and y plus 3b upon y minus 3 what you will get you will get 3b plus a upon b minus a plus 3a plus b upon a minus b now i can rearrange the denominator i can write that this as 3a 3b plus a upon b minus a minus 3a plus b upon b minus a i have written a minus b as b minus a and minus sign will come outside so you can take the denominator as b minus a this will become 3b plus a minus 3a minus b what you will get after solving this 3b minus b this is 2 twice of b minus a you will get divided by b minus a so final answer will be equals to 2 and that's the best and the fastest way to solve this question otherwise otherwise you will get very complicated equations and that will be very difficult to solve so that was all about ratio and proportion lesson 2.1 questions on proportion thank you